All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Catalyst 9300X series switch. And if you are new, go ahead, click that subscribe button. And if you like today's content, give it a thumbs up. So let's talk about this new switch that Cisco released, the 9300X. And it's really just an addition to the current Catalyst 9300 lineup that, that Cisco's had out for a couple of years. But these two switches, and they come in a 12 port and a 24 port version, they're fiber switches. And the ports on the front can do one gig, 10 gig, or 25 gig, just depending on the SFP that you end up popping in there. They also have a network module slot on the right side there where you can put your uplink module. You can do two ports of 40 or 100 gig on it. You can do eight ports of copper and those eight ports of copper will even do M gig on them. Um, and then you can also do eight ports of 10 gig slash 25 gig on those uplinks. Just pop in the module that you wanna use, add the SFPs and you know, or the QSFPs and you're all set. So you might be thinking, why did Cisco come out with this switch? There's kind of this 9500 that's out there that's a fiber ag aggregation switch. And I think the big reason that Cisco released this is because we had it in the 3850 series lineup. And customers kind of like that, especially customers that wanted to stack everything together in a closet. You were able to do that with the 3850s. There was the 12 port and 24 port 3850XS that was fiber. And at that time, I think those were only doing like one gig and 10 gig. Now these new models will do up to 25 gig on the front ports. So, you know, now I can have that single stack again, stack all these things together. You, you can do up to eight per stack on these. Um, one thing to note about the stack, when you read through the literature, the new 9300Xs, they can actually do a one terabit stack on the back now, but that's only if they're standalone with other 9300Xs. If you're trying to mix and match and you're gonna put those together with other 9300s, it's gonna default back guys to that stack-wise 480. So you're only gonna get 480 gigs on that back plane with a mix of 9300Xs and normal 9300s on there. The other new thing that Cisco added on here, it's a brand new ASIC that's running these switches. So that's gonna be able to do now 100 gigs of crypto right on these boxes. And, you know, I think it's one of those things that when I first saw this switch coming out, I was like, you know, we do kind of have that 9500 that's out there. But again, I know a lot of customers really like the concept of having, being able to stack everything together and being able to use that one backplane makes management sometimes a little bit easier. Um, now you can do that, given the limitations that this is only gonna be up to, you know, 24 ports per switch. The 9500s, I think, are still really good switches. You're going to be able to get a ton more capacity out of those. Uh, so, you know, those are still out there, too, if you're trying to figure out, should I go with 9300X or should I go with maybe more traditional 9500 catalyst switch? So with that, guys, you know, I just wanted to give you the quick, dirty rundown of what these switches are. And again, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If there are any questions, post them down below. And we can have a discussion around them, and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.